Okay, we're going to graph this piecewise function, and I like to start by thinking about what each piece should look like. So f of x equals x cubed plus 3 is a cubic function, and we know that a cubic function is going to look something like this, so you're expecting it to be curvy and not straight. f of x equals x plus 3 is going to be a line, and f of x equals 4 plus x minus x squared is going to be part of a parabola, and we know that parabolas are curvy, not straight. So we'll keep that in mind as we find some points to plot. Okay, I'm going to start with the top piece, and to find a couple of points, I'm going to substitute negative 2 into the function. Negative 2 cubed is negative 8, plus 3 is negative 5. So we have the point negative 2, negative 5. And I'm also going to substitute 0 into the function. 0 cubed plus 3 is going to be 3. So let's plot those points, negative 2, negative 5, and 0, 3. And then when we draw this, just make sure that it doesn't look like a straight line, so give it a little bit of curve. Okay, moving on to the second piece. I'm going to substitute 0 and 1 in to get my endpoints, but because it says less than and it doesn't say less than or equal to, I'm just going to make those points open circles instead of closed circles because they're not actually points on the graph. So if we substitute 0 in, we get 0 plus 3, which is 3, so we're going to have an open circle. And if we substitute 1 in, we get 1 plus 3, which is 4, so we're going to have an open circle. So 0, 3. Now notice we already have a point plotted at 0, 3, so we don't actually need to put an open circle on top of a closed circle. It's just going to be a closed circle. So we have that point, and then we have the point 1, 4, open circle, and we have a line segment between the two. Okay, moving on to the third piece. We're going to substitute 1 into the function and 3 into the function. So when we substitute 1 in, we have 4 plus 1 minus 1 squared, so that's just going to be 4. And then when we substitute 3 in, we have 4 plus 3, which is 7, minus 9, so negative 2. And because these are both less than or equal to signs, these would both be closed circles. So we have a closed circle at 1, 4. That's where we just had our open circle, so we're just going to fill it in. And then we also have a closed circle at 3, negative 2. And remember, this should be curvy since it's part of a parabola. We can even exaggerate that a little bit more. Okay, there's our graph.